Question 13 says, A heat pump has a coefficient of performance of 3.75 and operates with a power consumption of 6.9 times 10 to the third watts. A. How much energy does it deliver into a home during 6 hours of continuous operation? And B. How much energy, energy does it extract from the outside air? Now whenever we're dealing with a heat pump, what we're wanting is a transfer of heat. So we're, that, whenever we divide what we want by what we put in, we're putting in work, this gives us um, our performance. And so whenever we're, we're dealing with this, this is called the coefficient of performance, or COP. So what we want, I guess, varies sometimes. Whenever we're, we're talking about Q being, whenever we're wanting refrigeration, we deal with Q of C, so the, the cold reservoir. Whenever we're, dealing, whenever we're wanting to heat a room up, the, what we're wanting is, is to uh, look at the, uh, the heat, heat reservoir. And so our performance, uh, whenever we're talking about a heat pump, in this example, um, heating something up, we're going to look at the the heat transferred from the heat reservoir divided by the work put in. And so the question ask, actually asks, how much energy does it deliver into the home in six hours? And so the energy it delivers, that's what we're wanting, would be the QH. So we can solve for QH and we can say QH is, is equal to the coefficient of performance times the work. Now the question would be, what is the work? What, what is the work? The work is what we put into this thing. So we're dividing what we get out of it by what we put in. And it tells us what we put in. It says uh, that it operates with a power consumption, what we put in, of 6.9 times 10 to the third watts. So watts, watts is equal to the work over seconds. So every second I have a co coefficient of performance of 3.75 and every second um, I, I have a power consumption of 6.9 times times 10 to the third uh, watts per second. So the the energy delivered to uh, every second would be equal to the multiplication, the product of that. So, so it would be equal to 25,875 joules. So if this is the joules we're getting every second, then we can multiply this. So multiply this by, by 3,600 seconds per, per hour. So, so what we end up getting is since this is, since this is divided by seconds, so move the seconds, the seconds are on the bottom, joules per second. Um, then what we end up getting is the seconds will cancel out, and then we can multiply this by by the six hours that we're that we're doing this for, and um, the the total energy delivered in six hours is five five eight nine zero 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 joules. So that's uh, five hundred fifty eight million nine hundred thousand joules. So in our equations, what we have been saying is that the the efficiency is equal to the work divided by the uh, ener the energy transferred as heat to the hot reservoir or from the hot reservoir. But we've also expanded that, and we've said that energy is equal to the absolute value of the uh, coefficient of the, the 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 absolute value of the energy from the hot reservoir minus the absolute value of the energy to the cold reservoir divided by the the ener the absolute value of the energy from the hot reservoir and so we said that we could we could make that equal uh, QH over QH minus QC over QH and and what this would become is 1 minus QC over QH. So we can take that and we can we can set it equal to our first one. So we could say that that work divided by QH is equal to QC over QA 1 minus QC over QH. And so the question is asking us how much energy does it extract from the the cold air? So it's wanting us to solve for QC. So what we can do is we can subtract 1 from both sides. We would get W over QH minus 1 
is equal to um, negative QC over QH. And then we multiply both sides by negative QH. So we get negative QH times W over QH minus 1. That's supposed to be minus 1. And that's all equal to QC. So just again, um, we said that we could set work over QH, and that would equal 1 minus the QC over QH. And then we solved for QC, and we got that it, it's negative Q of H times the work over QH minus 1. And so all we got to do is plug in our numbers. Uh, negative QH is negative 25,875 joules. That's what we calculated uh, in part A. And, and that this is every second or every cycle is at one cycle per second. And, and then we calculated that the work done in that second was 6,900. So we divide that by QH and we subtract 1. And what you're going to notice is because this is a f uh, fraction, um, it's going to be less than, it's going to be slightly less than 1. So when we subtract 1 from it, it's going to be a negative number. And so we're multiplying a negative times a negative. So it should be a positive answer. When I plug that in, I get 1,000, or I get, I'm sorry, I get 18,975. And that's, that's in units of joules per second. And so again, I have to take that number, uh, 18,975, and I have to multiply that by the 3,600 seconds in an hour and multiply that by the six hours. And you should get 40986 and then four zeros, one, two, three, four. So comma there, comma there, 409,860,000 thousand joules is extracted from the outside air. And now I realize there's a couple of other ways that you could do the same problem. You can set up um, fractions and you could do some cross multiplying and you could answer it that way as well. Um, and I'm sure there's probably a few other ways to do it too. I just uh, that's the only other way I've thought of.